1. The Worst Birthday is a chapter in the book that describes Harry Potter's twelfth birthday, which he spends with his cruel and neglectful relatives, the Dursleys. They forget his birthday and treat him poorly, making him feel isolated and alone. Harry tries to escape their mistreatment by going to his bedroom, but he finds someone sitting on his bed, which leaves him feeling even more uneasy. 2. Dobby's Warning is a chapter in the book that introduces Dobby, a house elf who warns Harry Potter not to return to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Dobby is worried that Harry will be in danger if he goes back to school, but Harry refuses to listen to him and demands that Dobby give him his friend's letters. Dobby then disappears, leaving Harry feeling anxious and uncertain about what to do next. 3. The Burrow is a chapter in the book that describes Harry Potter's visit to the Weasley family's home, which is called the Burrow. Harry is welcomed warmly by the Weasleys, who treat him like a member of their family. He spends time with Ron, Fred, George, and Ginny, and learns more about their lives and personalities. The chapter also includes a scene where the Weasley brothers try to remove a magical car engine from their father's car, which provides some comic relief. 4. At Flourish and Blots is a chapter in the book that describes Harry Potter's visit to Diagon Alley with his friends Ron and Hermione. They go to Flourish and Blots, a bookstore that sells textbooks for Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. While there, they meet Gilderoy Lockhart, a famous wizard and author who is signing copies of his latest book. Harry is not impressed by Lockhart's arrogance and self-promotion, but Ron and Hermione are both fans. The chapter also includes scenes where the trio visits other shops in Diagon Alley, such as Quality Quidditch Supplies and Gamble and Japes Wizarding Joke Shop. 5. The Whomping Willow is a chapter in the book that describes Harry Potter's encounter with the Whomping Willow a magical tree that attacks anyone who comes near it. Harry, Ron, and Hermione are in a flying car, trying to get to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry when they crash into the Whomping Willow. The tree starts attacking the car, causing chaos and damage. The chapter includes scenes where the trio tries to escape from the tree and the car, and eventually makes it to Hogwarts. Once there, they face punishment from the school's headmaster, Albus Dumbledore, for their reckless behavior. 6. Gilderoy Lockhart is a character in the book who is a famous wizard and author. He is introduced in the second book when he is hired as the new defense against the dark arts teacher at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Lockhart is known for his good looks, charm, and supposed bravery. But Harry Potter quickly realizes that he is actually a fraud who takes credit for other people's accomplishments. Throughout the book, Lockhart tries to impress his students with his stories and skills. But he is ultimately exposed as a fraud. When he accidentally erases his own memory with a spell, the character serves as a comic relief and a commentary on the dangers of celebrity culture. 7. Mudbloods and Murmurs is a chapter in the book that deals with the issue of blood. Purity in the wizarding world. The term, mudblood, is a derogatory term used to describe wizards and witches who come from non-magical families, and the chapter explores the prejudice and discrimination that these individuals face. The chapter includes scenes where Hermione, who is a mudblood, is insulted and attacked by other students, including the Slytherin Quidditch team. The chapter also includes scenes where Harry and Ron try to defend Hermione and stand up against the prejudice. The chapter serves as a commentary on real-world issues of racism and discrimination, and highlights the importance of standing up against injustice. 8. The Death Day Party is a chapter in the book that describes a party that is held at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry to celebrate the 500th death day of nearly headless Nick, the school's resident ghost. The chapter includes scenes where Harry, Ron, and Hermione attend the party which is held in a dungeon, and features a variety of spooky decorations and activities. The chapter also includes scenes where the trio tries to investigate the mysterious voice that Harry has been hearing, which leads them to the school's forbidden third-floor corridor. The chapter serves as a commentary on the themes of death and the afterlife, 
and highlights the unique and quirky aspects of the wizarding world. 9. The Writing on the Wall is a chapter in the book that deals with the appearance of mysterious messages on the walls of Hogwarts. School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The messages, which are written in blood, warn of the return of the Chamber of Secrets, and the danger that it poses to the students. The chapter includes scenes where Harry, Ron, and Hermione try to investigate the messages and figure out who is responsible for them. The chapter also includes scenes where the trio attends a dueling club, where they learn more about the history of the Chamber of Secrets and the legend of the heir of Slytherin. The chapter serves as a commentary on the themes of fear and paranoia and highlights the importance of working together to solve problems and overcome challenges. 10. The Rogue Bludger is a chapter in the book that describes a Quidditch match between Gryffindor and Slytherin at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. During the match, one of the bludgers, which are enchanted balls used to disrupt the players, becomes enchanted and begins attacking Harry Potter, the Gryffindor Seeker. The chapter includes scenes where Harry tries to avoid the bludger while still searching for the Golden Snitch, which is the object that ends the game. The chapter also includes scenes where Harry's friends, Fred and George Weasley, try to figure out who enchanted the bludger and how to stop it. The chapter serves as a commentary on the themes of danger and risk-taking and highlights the importance of quick thinking and teamwork in high-pressure situations. 11. The Dueling Club is a chapter in the book that describes the formation of a dueling club at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The club is led by Professor Lockhart, a famous wizard and author, and is designed to teach students how to defend themselves against dark magic. The chapter includes scenes where Harry, Ron, and Hermione attend the club and learn various spells and techniques for dueling. The chapter also includes scenes where Harry and Draco Malfoy, a fellow student and rival, engage in a duel that reveals Harry's ability to speak parcel tongue, a rare and mysterious language associated with the dark arts. The chapter serves as a commentary on the themes of power and control, and highlights the importance of learning how to defend oneself against those who would do harm. 12. The Polyjuice Potion is a chapter in the book that describes Harry, Ron, and Hermione's attempt to use a potion called Polyjuice Potion to transform themselves into other people. The chapter includes scenes where the trio steals ingredients for the potion from Snape's office and brews it in a secret bathroom. The chapter also includes scenes where Harry, Ron, and Hermione use the potion to transform themselves into Slytherin students in order to investigate the mysterious attacks on students that have been happening at Hogwarts. The chapter serves as a commentary on the themes of identity and deception, and highlights the risks and consequences of using powerful magic for personal gain. 13. The Very Secret Diary is a chapter in the book that describes Harry's discovery of a mysterious diary that once belonged to a former Hogwarts student named Tom Riddle. The chapter includes scenes where Harry writes in the diary and discovers that it can communicate with him and show him memories from the past. The chapter also includes scenes where Harry learns about the history of Hogwarts and the Chamber of Secrets, a hidden chamber that is said to contain a monster that can only be controlled by the heir of Slytherin. The chapter serves as a commentary on the themes of memory and legacy and highlights the dangers of delving too deeply into the past. 14. Cornelius Fudge is a chapter in the book that describes the arrival of Cornelius Fudge, the Minister of Magic, at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The chapter includes scenes where Fudge meets with Harry and Dumbledore to discuss the recent attacks on students and the possibility of closing the school. The chapter also includes scenes where Harry and his friends continue to investigate the Chamber of Secrets and discover new clues about the monster that is responsible for the attacks. The chapter serves as a commentary on the themes of power and authority, and highlights the challenges of maintaining order and safety in a world of magic and mystery. 15. Aragog is a chapter in the book that describes Harry and Ron's encounter with Aragog, a giant spider who lives in the Forbidden Forest, 
the chapter includes scenes where Harry and Ron follow a trail of spiders into the forest and discover Aragog's lair. The chapter also includes scenes where Aragog tells Harry and Ron about his past and denies any involvement in the recent attacks on students. The chapter serves as a commentary on the themes of fear and prejudice and highlights the dangers of making assumptions based on appearances. 16. The Chamber of Secrets is a chapter in the book that describes Harry's discovery of the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets, a hidden chamber at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The chapter includes scenes where Harry and his friends use clues from a mysterious diary to find the entrance and descend into the chamber. The chapter also includes scenes where Harry confronts the monster that has been responsible for the attacks on students and discovers the true identity of the heir of Slytherin. The chapter serves as a commentary on the themes of identity and destiny and highlights the importance of facing one's fears and accepting one's true nature. 17. The Heir of Slytherin is a chapter in the book that reveals the true identity of the Heir of Slytherin, who has been responsible for the attacks on students at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The chapter includes scenes where Harry and his friends confront the Heir of Slytherin and engage in a battle to stop him from unleashing the monster from the Chamber of Secrets. The chapter also includes scenes where Harry discovers the truth about the mysterious diary and its connection to the heir of Slytherin. The chapter serves as a commentary on the themes of power and responsibility and highlights the importance of using one's abilities for good rather than evil. 18. In Dobby's Reward, Harry and his friends are rewarded for their bravery. Dobby the house elf is freed from his servitude to the Malfoy family. Lucius Malfoy is exposed and punished for his involvement in a dangerous plot. The chapter highlights the importance of treating others with kindness and respect.